Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this webinar on 2021 uh, Job trend, Trends in Cloud Containers and Automation, uh, organized by IPSR. A very warm welcome to all the resource persons, students, faculties, job seekers, working professionals, and my colleagues in IPSR. This is Srinivas Prasad, academic consultant and corporate trainer, and is working from Bangalore. Is a highly accomplished professional with over 20 plus years of hands on experience, having served as solutions architect, project manager, technical consultant, and IT manager with uh, different companies like Accenture, IBM, HCL, and iGate. He is also the corporate trainer for HP, Cisco, Genpact, Standard Chartered, HCL, iGate, TCS, GMR, Oman Air, IBM, and Cape Gemini. Also, he is acting as an advisor for different universities. That's a brief profile about uh, Mr. Srinivas Prasad. Uh, over to you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Jaiman. OK, everybody, this is Srinivas. As Mr. Jaiman mentioned about me, I'm closely connected with the corporate and as well as with the academic institutions. Uh, my objective is to mitigate the gap between the requirement by the industry and the acquired skills by the students. So whenever I go and visit the academic institutions, I used to ask the students, uh, what you want to become after your course? Uh, or else I'll put it in another way, which course, which technology is interested for you? Most of the students are still under the ambiguity that they have not make up their minds. In the sense, for example, if their cousin is working on testing, blindly they say that I am interested in testing. Why? My yeah. cousin suggested me. Mm -hmm. The other person, other girl will say that my uncle is working in Oracle, so I want to learn that. Thing. So many of the students used to tell me that because of their relatives, friends acquired the job in some particular technology, they also evince towards that particular technology. Was it, is, is it the right way to select the career path? No. So you have to understand what are the developments that are happening, and what are the challenges facing by the IT industry, and what kind of scope we are going to have for the different technologies. For example, if you talk about the conventional business model so far, industry experience, the, all the IT business can be categorized into three verticals, application services, infrastructure services, and BPS. We used to call BPO, now we are calling it as BPS. Under application services, we have different things under that particular gamut. Could be .NET, could be Java, PHP, something. Okay. So, Another one is infrastructure services, like data center management, OS, messaging server, service desk, something like that, and BPS, like insurance, uh, banking, whatever it is. Now, what are the challenges facing by the application services? Typically, in application services, the scope for the software development projects are coming down. Typically, web application projects, software uh, development projects, the scope is coming down because of the competition, because of the saturation, and other issues also there. Okay. Here, the other disadvantage is the technology is so dynamic here in the sense today you may have one language in demand. Tomorrow, other language will replace this existing language. Okay. That is one thing. Other thing is because of the automation tools, the basic coding is taken care by the tool itself. It is able to generate the required code. Okay. Even right now, today also, if you want to develop a website, some ready made tools also are available. So, with the help of them, you can create the website. No need of knowledge, no need of having any knowledge on the coding. So when it comes to the support, like typically tech support kind of thing, again, there is a threat from the automation. For example, if you take HP, 
so far they are providing support for the big clients for their infrastructure now what is happening is they are developing an automation tool the tool itself will understand communicate with the client understand the problem okay try to resolve the problem and give the solution there where is the need of the manpower okay so bpo there is a threat from the philippines and vietnam nowadays because because of the cheap labor majority of the companies they are shifting towards philippines and other countries like this conventional business approach is facing some kind of challenges okay that's the reason if you observe the margins in between 91 to 2000 it industries used to get 53% of the margin between 2001 to 2010 it has come down to 28% now in the existing 2011 and beyond it is a question mark may be it has fallen to the 15% so 15% of the limited margins the it industry has to sustain okay they need to provide the infrastructure they need to pay the salaries they need to take care of the logistics and everything okay so obviously in that scenario every company is looks to cut down the cost okay to cut down the cost what are the measures you can take straight away they cannot uh, sack the employees right other methods now they want they because of the competition they are expecting the billable resources from the day one billable resources in the sense for example if they recruit a particular fresher or somebody they should be in a position to take care of the operations from the first day itself again they don't have time and bandwidth or budget to train them for 3 to 4 months by putting them on the bench okay so that is the reason industry is expecting the skilled resources skilled resources means they should be equipped with all kinds of skill could be technical could be operational could be documentation skills like that so that they can put them into the as they can put them or they can utilize them as the billable resources okay so if you see the size of the out- outsourcing it market okay apart from software development so many new verticals are emerging like telecom communication it services and computer equipment obviously the industry is looking to get the business out of the new verticals the new trend what is the customer requirement the customer requirement is changing now they don't want to expect the traditional services like database management web development and all their expectations are changing why they are changing because of the evolution because of the industrial evolution okay what is that evolution everybody is talking about 4.0 4.0 something like that playing a vital role in the industry evolution so in 18th century man invented the machine In, again that is the first revolution second revolution when the man invented the electricity the third revolution when the man invented the computer so we have experienced the kind of impact the society had with all these three revolutions so what exact revolution what comes under this particular industry 4.0 that is nothing but automation okay so automation is going to play a vital role it is going to become a part and parcel of each individual and society community country or whatever it may be okay so that's the reason so these are all the technologies revolving around that particular automation could be simulation could be robotics could be analytics augmented reality data manufacturing cyber security something like okay so see the impact of the uh, the digitalization okay so these companies did not exist in 2006 there was no instagram there was no swiggy something like that but now what is the status of swiggy what is the status of amazon and all okay within a short span because they have adopted this particular digital technologies 
they could expand their business in such a way okay so that's the reason every company is looking to implement these digital technologies to improve their business strategies to gain more profits okay to sustain in the market even though there is a stiff competition is there okay see the time to reach the 100 million customers how much time it took for the telephone 75 years but now the instagram within two years the pokeman has within one though that is the scope of the this is the typical scope of the digital technologies so what are the as mr mendes already mentioned these things are comes under the digital technologies like cloud cyber security iot blockchain aml augmented reality now if we talk about the importance of the cloud okay so first the the companies irrespective of the domain could be manufacturing could be services could be logistics could be it they are migrating their physical infrastructure into the virtual infrastructure okay to cut down the cost okay that is one thing it will be flexible okay so so many reasons are there that is one reason for the behind the importance of the cloud another thing is to implement iot blockchain aml again cloud will act as the platform without having the platform like cloud nobody can implement these kind of technologies or verticals that's the reason since the adoption is so rapid the demand also increasing for the cloud okay but what are the things comes under the cloud okay but every technology will have some kind of prerequisite right like that to get into a cloud also linux is the prerequisite okay because we are going to deploy the services on top of cloud mostly using the linux platform so the one who is familiar with linux okay is eligible to get into the cloud computing platform under that again different flavors are there like aws is there azure is there vmware is there like virtualization again we talk about the data center engineering and open stack with linux different flavors are there but to understand the concept is more important to get into the real time practices is more important okay and to understand the integration is also very much important how you can integrate your web server with the database server how you can integrate with your storage with your uh, with your desktop how you can deploy the uh, virtual networks on top of the cloud how you can establish connectivity between the physical network and the virtual network. so these things are very important actually okay 